Hello guys, welcome to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We are going to begin with Alejandro Bade as the Barcelona youngster himself has confirmed renewal talks saying that I want to stay for many more years. We are going to be discussing on everything he had to say on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Julian Araujo. As it has been reported that Barcelona are set to go ahead with the right back signing through the cut of arbitration of sport appeal or summer deal. We are also going to be discussing on that. So, guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Awesome. Alejandro Bade is one of many Barcelona players whose contract has been a subject of discussion within the camp. With a young star enjoying a rapid rise to prominence this season, Barcelona are keen on sealing his long-term future at the Camp Nou. His current deal at the club expires in the summer of 2024. In a recent media interaction, Bade himself has confirmed that Barca are in talks with his agent and a contract renewal could be coming soon. He said, Barcelona met with my agent and it's very clear. I want to stay here for many, many years, Bade said, according to Fabrizio Romano. Although formerly a part of the Espanol youth program, Bade has been a part of the Barcelona youth setup for a long time. Since joining the club at the age of just seven, the young star has now gone on to become a Spanish international. He said, I joined this club when I was seven and I want to keep going for present and the future, but I added, suggesting that the left back will not be going anywhere anytime soon, despite Barcelona's apparent economic struggles. But his comments come in the midst of reports that suggest Barcelona are considering the sale of Jody Alba in the coming summer. The veteran left back has fallen behind Bade in the pecking order and his exorbitant salary is playing a role in crippling the club's powers in the market. Considering the fact that Barca must find a way to reduce more than 200 million euros of the wage bill, it will not come as a surprise to see the club renew the contract of Alejandro Bade. But at the same time, they might sanction the exit of Jody Alba and a few more players in the coming summer. Time is ticking fast for Barca when it comes to complying with the wage cap rules in La Liga. Of course, Alejandro Bade has been an exceptional player in exceptional form this season, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best players we have had this season and has been a surprise package nonetheless. He has been a surprise package. Every season, it seems as though Barca have this habit of you know, having a young star that take over the football stage as being the best young player. Of course, Pedri 2020, Gavi 2021, Alejandro Bade might be the player who can take the best, who knows, the Golden Boy Awards, which means Barcelona are having a big future ahead of them with young stars who are taking back-to-back -back best young players in the world. I think Alejandro Bade is the most talked about right now as he's really doing a good job. Of course, um, Bade's contract expires in 2024. And it has been a topic of discussion as well. Barcelona are looking to extend his contract. And there is no doubt about the player to stay for this club for a very long time. You know, he is our jewel and Barca cannot play with him. Of course, um, he has done enough, you know, to convince manager Xavi that he is the starting, like he, he is the first choice left back. And to the extent of Benjamin, veterans like Jody Alba and Marcos Alonso says a lot. You know, it speaks volumes of the kind of talents that Bade has. And it is inevitable for Barca to put all their efforts to ensure that he remains at the Camp Nou for a very long time. Of course, the player himself from this interview, we can see how confident he is and even narrating how things have gone so far. You know, the agent, his agent have already met with Barca to discuss the possible um, extension of his contract, which looks like very, very um, possible right now. But Barcelona still need to offload some players, you know, from the team in the summer to ensure that there's a lot of room and leverage bill to accommodate players like Bade. Of course, Bade has been in exceptional form, as I earlier said, 
and he is a top priority renewal that Barca must make. Jordi Alba's name has been appearing recently on the media about a potential sale, all because of financial fair play. We all know the other two captains, Busquets and Sergio Roberto, are likely to remain at the Camp Nou after um, Xavi Hernandez have been put persuading the Barca board to renew their contract, and it seems as though Laporta and his board are willing to do so. But the only captain who is Jordi Alba, being the third captain, it, it seems as though he will leave because, you know, those veterans take a lot. Like, their salary are really heavy and Laporta wants to ensure that there should be space on that wage bill to accommodate the new signings and also renewals that have not been registered. Then on to the next story of discussion. As is tradition at this point, Barcelona faced a ton of drama on deadline day as they scrambled to complete signings. Fiorentina, Sofia, Amrabad and Los Angeles Galaxy... Um, Julian Araujo were among the targets on Barca's radar. However, neither deal went through as Barcelona struggled to reach an agreement with all parties involved. The problems were vastly different though. Um, with Amrabat, Barca had tabled a 40 million euro loan plus option to buy offer to Fiorentina, which was rejected. The Moroccan international tried to push for a move by skipping training and personally speaking to the president, but to no avail. On the other hand, Arako's move was stranded due to the late paperwork from MLS. The final documents arrived 18 seconds late on that deadline day, which halted that move. Barcelona tried to appeal their case to FIFA, but were turned down. They have now turned their attention towards the Court of Arbitration of Sport, that is a CAS, Either way, though, FC Barcelona seem to be thoroughly impressed with the Mexican defender and want to sign him either this month through the court appeal or in the summer or an, you know, a permanent transfer, according to Fabrizio Romano. Barcelona have an agreement with the player on a three-year deal with his initial contract set to be with the reserve side. He would, however, have a role with the senior team as well, getting call-ups. This way, he would register with the youth side and Barca would not face any problems pending his contract with the league. Further, after Hector Villarín's departure and Sergio Roberto's expiring contract, if Arago impresses Xavi and the coaching staff on that right-back role with his time with the first team, he could become the face of the team at right-back, at least temporarily. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so, so you always stay in touch with the latest on Barca here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.